Hi, and welcome back. This is Dr. Kaiser. Today, I will talk to you about how uncontrolled high blood pressure and uncontrolled diabetes will kill you. I have been asked the question quite a bit these days about where Kaiser came from. So as you know, Kaiser Soze came from The Usual Suspects. If you've not yet seen the movie, go check it out. But the question I've been asked is, what does Kaiser Soze have anything to do with nephrology? That's a great question, and here's a great answer. There's a phrase in the movie by Kevin Spacey where he says, well, I believe in God, and the only thing that scares me is Kaiser Soze. With that being said, many people believe they have high blood pressure. Many people believe they have diabetes. Often they're both uncontrolled. Those two are the most common causes of chronic kidney disease. With that being said, people believe they have high blood pressure. People believe they have diabetes, but they are scared of dialysis. With that being said, one out of three Americans have high blood pressure. So just envision you and two of your friends. One of you most likely has high blood pressure. Just envision you and 10 of your friends. Odds are one of you have diabetes. Just envision you and three of your friends. Envision all of you have diabetes. One of you have chronic kidney disease. Envision you and four of your other friends with high blood pressure. One of you have chronic kidney disease. So you may be thinking, Dr. Kaiser, what, what do all these numbers and statistics mean? What it means is that, once again, the two most common causes of chronic kidney disease in this country are diabetes and high blood pressure. People are not afraid of having uncontrolled high blood pressure or having uncontrolled diabetes, but they are scared of dialysis. The irony is most people with chronic kidney disease do not live long enough to even get on dialysis. I'll say it again. Most people with chronic kidney disease do not live long enough to get on dialysis. So what happens to them? They die from heart attack, stroke, poor circulation, cardiac arrest. As a matter of fact, they are 16 to 40 times more likely to die before they even get on dialysis. Those numbers, once again, are people with chronic kidney disease are 16 to 40 times more, more likely to die before they even get on dialysis. But most people are scared of dialysis. People are quick to say, my grandmother died on dialysis, my uncle died on dialysis, I don't wanna get on dialysis. The truth of the matter is, people on dialysis and those with kidney transplants are survivors because most people don't live that long. So, a picture worth at least a thousand words. So let's look at this picture. If you look on the left here, it has cigarettes, obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, alcohol, soda, processed foods. Let me get my red pen. I can do some outlining for you. So you see cigarettes, obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, alcohol, soda, processed foods. These are all called modifiable risk factors. What that means is that these are risk factors that you can change. Nothing to do with genetics, just things that you can change. As I tell my patients, always wear your seatbelt. What does that mean? What that means is that when you're in a vehicle 
Odds are you put on your own seatbelt. Therefore, you change what you can change. You put on your own seatbelt when it comes to your health care and your risk factors. So you look at the top of the top of the trail here, you see the happy trees here and the happy grass and the happy trees along here. That's a shout out to Bob Ross from Public Television, who is a world-renowned artist. He used to call every tree and shrubbery happy. But these are not happy. I'll get into that detail a little bit later. But you see this sign here. Welcome to Vaz D Park. Vaz D Park, V-O-S-D. What does that mean? Well, I'll give you a hint. This park is in every major city, in every small city, every town, everywhere in the world. Vaz D Park, Valley of the Shadow of Death Park. Many of us are in this park right now. We just don't know it. But let's start this pathway. So we have this guy who's happy taking nice long steps. You see his nice big smile. Walk along the pathway. He encounters the first tree, but he gets struck in the heart with a bow and arrow. This heart does not represent love or Valentine's Day. This represents a heart attack. So now his, his smile is gone. He's taking shorter steps. But whatever does not kill him, he thinks makes him stronger. So he continues down the pathway while he continues with the cigarettes, obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, alcohol in excess, soda in excess, processed foods in excess. So he walks around this corner and he gets shot by the sniper in this tree. And this is a picture of a brain because now he has a stroke. You see his mouth is sagging. You see his half of his body is weak. He's taking even shorter steps now. Whatever does not kill him, he thinks makes him stronger. So he keeps on walking down the pathway, comes around the corner, and there's a guy around here who's hiding behind the tree trunk with a machete. You may be thinking to yourself, what's a machete have anything to do with risk factors? What happens is he comes and cuts his leg off because he now has poor circulation because all of these risk factors can lead to bad circula circulation. And bad circulation leads to gangrene. And if you don't get your leg cut off, whatever is gangrenous, you die from that. So he had a timely surgery and he is doing better. So whatever did not kill him, he thinks makes him stronger because he thinks his habits are, quote, not that bad because nothing is hurting him or so he thinks. So he keeps on walking along. And next thing you know, pow, cardiac arrest. So luckily for him, Somebody nearby knew some CPR. They gave him some good quality chest compressions. And they just so happened to have an automated external defibrillator. So they shocked him. And now he's amongst the living once again. But he's thinking he's doing great. His risk, his risk factor is not that bad. He does not feel a thing. So he continues walking. And he sees a sign here. Fun days ahead. He looks off into the horizon, sees the happy tree here, the castle, the rainbow. I should have drawn a unicorn, but I'm not that good of an artist. But the issue is none of this truly exists because fun days do not lie ahead when you have these risk factors. So he followed on the slippery slope, woohoo, to dialysis. And that's what happens. You have these risk factors. I call them marathon diseases because for the first 15 or so years, you don't feel a thing. No pain, no nothing. You're just doing what you think is plan A. And your plan B turns out to be doing more of plan A, which is not the correct answer. But the unfortunate portion of this is any of these people could just die without even having a heart attack or stroke or poor, cir poor circulation or cardiac arrest. But since they didn't die, they're thinking what they're doing is okay. And this tombstone is left blank on purpose because None of us, well, very few of us write our own tombstones. People do that for us. So if we want to be the hero of our story, we need to make sure we tell the story the best way. Because once again, 16, well, people with chronic kidney disease are 16 to 40 times more likely to die before they even get dialysis. So this guy is a, is a survivor. But none of these people are doing well. They just have no pain. But no pain does not mean no problems. So 
this story can be seen as chilling. This story can be seen as thrilling. But while you think about the impact of these um, decisions, just think about this song. So you are fighting for your life, but it is a life worth fighting for. If we can just modify these risk factors, smoke less or stop smoking, get better balanced diets, exercise routines, control our diabetes, control our high blood pressure, do not use alcohol in excess, soda in excess, processed foods in excess, we can beat this, we can survive this, we can have a different outcome. We can go to, go to a different park. But until that happens, this is what the future holds. Once again, this is Dr. Kaiser. Feel free to subscribe, hit on some comments. Till then, see you next time.